Okay, Modlo, so here's the other part of, of the, um, well, the second part of the B17 reviews, the older 48 scale kits. Um, the other review is the old monogram kit, and this is the Revel kit. Now, the, the monogram kit is a nicer kit than the Revel kit. They're the same era sort of thing, but the, the monogram one's got some improvements in it. Um, it like had some new tooling and stuff done to it. And so what I wanted to do is do these two reviews together and so you can see the difference in it. So we're going to go through this one bit by bit now and you'll be able to see compared to that one, compared to the parts in this one, what the differences are. Now this one here, um, I picked this one up oh, a long time ago off some of the swap meters. The sticker's still up there, $25. Um, and honestly, for $25, this is still a nice kit. It, it's a beautiful big bird and it's still a nice kit for 48 scale. Um, and you can re really do this up to be a nice kit. And the other thing is you've got to remember you can get a lot of aftermarket stuff for these guys and really make them pretty. Um, this one here, I don't know whether to do, I was discussing in the other video, whether to do the other one out of box and then do this one up with all the pretty parts on it to larry it up, um, or just build that one and I'll give this one to someone. Um, but I've got two two of the monogram ones, I've got one of these, um, and I, I'm sure I had another monogram one, but I think I've left it at someone's place, so it's probably gone, or who knows who's ended up with that. But um, again, you can get a clear side for this guy. So you can see inside if you want to do all the pretty stuff inside. Just be warned, this one's got no decals in it. Um, the decals rotted away ages ago. Um, the, the clear plastic parts, I've just had this open. I've taken them out of the plastic bag just to make it easier to do this review so we can get through it a bit quicker. Um, but the box art, again, really nice stuff. Love some of this old box art. Um, it, it's unique to the era. It's just got that, that look about it, and I love the old box art. There's one of those things I don't throw this stuff away. When I finish with it, I cut the, the actual box art out, and um, I keep them in a stash over there. One day I'd love to laminate them and hang them up all through my shed here, my workspace, but that's one of them dreams that we'll probably never get, get to come around to. But on the side here, we've got some photos of it built up that someone's built up. Um, the other side is pretty much the same. Um, the old box is getting a bit flimsy, so I've got to be a bit careful with it. Put it down the road. Well, the first thing we'll do, we'll look at the clear paths. And the clear paths on this are very, very similar to what were in the monogram kit. Um, I mean, they're, they're fine for what they are, uh, a little bit thick. But looking at these, they look to be maybe, oh, well, they are on a par because look, you know, I put my finger on there, it's like a magnifying glass, and some are a bit thick. But some of it looks a little bit nicer than the other one. Uh, this one here, it has been knocked around a lot more as far as being rattling around a packet for a while. And, I can see quite a few scratches and stuff that have to be cleaned up on it. Um, but looking at the cockpit part up here, it's just like big bubbles of, of um, plastic. So they're not the prettiest bits in the world. But, you know, I'll polish them back and dip them in a bit of future. They should come up quite fine for, for this kit here. Again, if you want to layer it up, you can buy vac form and stuff like that to, to replace those if you want. And one of the difference between the two kits, this one here, this is the instructions. It's just one of those big old fold-out pieces like that. Uh, whereas the other one's in a proper booklet. And you see as you go through the build in this one, there's nowhere near as much detail in the interior when you're putting it together, uh, even though some of it's moulded in there. Um, but the detail's not quite as up to par as what it is on the monogram one. If you look at the monogram review, you'll see there's a lot more detail goes into putting the interior together. Um, and we'll see inside the fuselage in a minute to show you what I mean about the detail that's built in. Everything else is quite similar to the instructions, it's just that they're sort of cut down, they're abbreviated because there's not as many parts um, and it's very, very straightforward stuff. Then on the back here you've got quite a nice pull out here, black and white of the camo pattern. Now that's a gorgeous camo pattern, that's something I really, really want to get into. Uh, but it may be, depending on what um, decals I can find, if I ever do build this I'll have to buy another set of decals, whether I can find them. We'll go with a different one or not, but just love the camo pattern on that girl. Just beautiful. So I'll fold them up without them falling apart on us because they're getting a bit old. Okay, so first part here, we'll pull this wing out now. Looking at the, again, external panel lines, we, we know that from the monogram kit. It's got those as well. These ones are a bit heavier handed. They're, they're really sticking out like that. They're, they're like little walls all over it, basically. Um, and some of the other moulding that's in there is fairly similar because it is from the same mould process but uh, it looks a bit softer on this one, it's not quite as um, harsh and nice. The tyres got that lovely big thick tread pattern off the walls there. 
but um, there's not a great deal of difference in that. The plastic is a bit more that um, sort of brittly sort of stuff, but it's not too bad. Again, the flashing's there. Yeah, I'll have to. I must say, on the machine guns there, the flashing's not as bad as on the monogram kit, but um, the same line, big thick same line, still up the middle of it. There's one of those things about old kits, guys. Too, you can see the the bend, the distortion in that that frame there. That can happen with these old kits, and it's, what it's done is gone through the machine guns too, and they're like bananas. Those those machine gun barrels are all bent. They're just distorted with the plastic from it sitting in a box in a certain way. So it's one of those things, guys. You, you take kits out and look at them. We all love to do that, and we take out a new kit and we have a look at it and smile and smell it and carry on. You put it back in the box. Try and make sure you put it back in where it's not going to end up like that. Um, I mean, it's, it's not a big drama to fix that little part there, but if it was a wing or the fuselage or something. It gets a bit more iffy to try and do it. Then you're starting to talk hair dryers and things to try and do it. Or when you glue it together, it's covered in clamps for days to make sure it's set. Um, but, you know, it's just one of those things to be aware of, guys. I mean, new kits will do that too over time. If you put them back the wrong way, they are going to distort and go funny like that. Um, one of our tail wings there, just forgive some of the dirt and stuff on these. And they're, they're, I've got ant dust in here too, guys. I put a little sprinkle of ant dust. It's very fine. I put it in all my boxes to keep the ants out of them. Because um, they build nests in there and they destroy your, your decals. Not there's any decals in this one, but um, still. And this is the top part of our wing now. Again, the monogram kit, these part here, fuel houses and things like that, they're actually engraved and they've got all the rivet detail. And the same around these hatches and stuff, all that rivet detail. This has got none of it. There's no rivets on this at all. So rivets will be, have to be added around those parts. Now, as far as all the rivets on the wings and things like that, it's the same with the mono. There's no rivets on any of that, but they do have rivets and stuff around the other parts. So if you want to rivet any of this stuff, you're going to need a riveting tool, which is, there's a lot of work between um, re-engraving all the panel lines and then riveting and that, a lot of work, but it, it does make a huge difference at the end of the day. They do look much better. Uh, looking at our, our seats here, these are just big, thick chunky style seats and the same with the bases that they sit on the frames they sit on just big and thick and chunky so you're not looking at a lot of pretty detail in there very very ordinary but again you've got to remember the age of this kit too guys she's, she's seen better days because it's been around for quite a while okay okay so here's our engines they're fairly similar to what's in the monogram i've got to say the monogram are actually nicer so that's probably what i was thinking when I opened the monogram one, I was saying you wouldn't be able to open your engine housings because the detail's not there. But I was probably thinking of this kit because the ones in the monogram are much nicer than what these are. Um, but the monogram, again, has got no backing in there. You'll have to put something in there if you want to open your, your cowlings up. Um, top part here, that's moulded fairly nicely, but there's just no rivet, no panel lines, nothing on that there. I'm not sure if they're supposed to be or not. Uh, wing roots here, here's some rivet detail around there on these sides here, some around the windows, so there is some nice rivet detail there. Uh, it's external rivets, they're not internal, um, so be careful if you're going to you know, redo your seam lines, you'll end up sanding those off and have to redo them anyway. Um, I can feel the lumps along there, which that, that's nice, that's got that nice detail moulded into it there. Uh, one of the things I did notice, I didn't mention in the monogram one, is the cloth flaps where the cloth material is, has actually got a texture on it on the, um, on the monogram one. I think it's supposed to on here, you can just barely see it, it's so soft, you can hardly even see it at all, uh, whereas the monogram one's made it a little bit more pronounced, so when you paint it you'll be able to see these cloth surfaces, um, and a lot of people when they paint these to make that stand out, they fade those, those surfaces as well, because it's painted cloth, not painted metals. Um, this one here, we'll look at, okay, here, we've got detail again in the, the cockpit here, the centre panel. But it's very, very soft. It's not as sharp and in your face as what the monogram one is. It's just very soft and very subtle. So again, you know, it's yeah. and the bulkheads here, um, the the details just not on them. When you see in that monogram one, it's got some lovely radio heads and things like that. That's all there, but not on this kit. Inside, no framing, no rib work inside like on the monogram one. Remember, we had all that beautiful ribbing in there. We got all the radio sets, all the oxygen sets things like that's all in there not in this one there's nothing in there okay so again if you really want to pretty up this inside of this you're looking at scratch building or aftermarket stuff um there's lots of pieces the props have all broken off and sitting in the bottom here that's a piece of landing gear below it um that's the sprue that held the props not much to look at there and just 
and just a couple more wings. Uh, but they're, 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 it's no good showing you all that, guys, because they're very much the same. Uh, one of the things I will show you is um, our instrument panel here. Now, the gauges are all on that. I'll see if I can get this to focus. We'll get up here a bit closer for you guys to get this to focus for us, please, camera. Come on. There we go. You can probably see that them gauges, they're moulded onto that plastic, but they're very, very subtle. They're very, very soft, and it's almost like they've punched the circles into the plastic. Um, it's sort of hard to see because my glasses aren't that great, but well, as you know, they are raised. They just look like they're punched in, but they're just very, very subtle. Whereas the other one, they stick out like gauges. They're much more pronounced. Again, the cloth around the interior of the tail gun here is just so subtle. You can barely, barely see that that's there. Um, yeah, guys, so that that's pretty much the main difference is the bombs, again, they're just a little bit, um, I don't know, chunky style um, compared to the other kit. They've just refined a lot of it. Um, but the tooling's just much more I don't know, pronounced and much more precise. And this, but like I say, you've, you've got to allow for the age of these kits, guys. They, they've been around for quite a while. Um, and that's not saying that they don't build up to beautiful kits. You can still do them. Just with these older kits, just give yourself time to spend and do that, to, to build them up nice. If you don't think you, you can get the time or you, you don't want to spend the time, give them to a to someone who's going to enjoy them, who, who would love to actually do one of these things. Because I know they're not that easy to get hold of anymore. Um, and some people, I know some people would love to get hold of some of these old kits. So, um, And it's just a shame to have them sit there and just go to waste.